The prehistoric seas were once filled with creatures so ferocious and adept at hunting that if they coexisted with us today, we probably would not go anywhere near the ocean. Here are the top eight of the most incredible and intimidating primeval beasts of the blue. Among the prehistoric predators lived the Bacillosaurus. Though its name translates to King Lizard, this animal was classified as a predatory whale with a nightmare-inducing set of teeth, which packed quite the bite. Unlike its modern whale cousins, this creature looked more like a reptile than a whale, hence the name. Gripping its victim with jaws, Bacillosaurus attacked smaller animals much like a crocodile snatching their prey with its conical canines, then tossing it back further into its mouth to allow the sharper, serrated teeth to deliver the lethal bite. Equipped with a short head, a long, thin body, and vestigial hind limbs, Bacillosaurus reached lengths of up to 60 feet long, or about as big as a city bus. Skeletal evidence of this beast shows that it could sense the direction of sound in the water with a specifically equipped lower jaw that transmitted the sounds into its ears. This helped the animal detect its meals. Fossils of these magnificent creatures have been found in the United States, England, Egypt, Jordan, and Pakistan. It ruled as the largest known predator of the Eocene period, about 35 to 40 million years ago. Moving on to our next creature, modern-day great white sharks could not even compare to the size of the mighty Megalodon, the largest shark that ever lived. These ancient sharks were far more frightening, about three times longer, about 60 to 70 feet total, and 20 times more massive. Just the dorsal fin alone was about six feet long, and its tail, from tip to tip, was estimated to be over 20 feet long. Most megalodon teeth that have been found are serrated and up to six inches long. Their jaws held about 280 of these massive teeth. What's more is that these incredible jaws, which measure to be about 9 to 11 feet, are estimated to have had a bite force of approximately 180,000 newtons, almost 300 times as strong as an average human bite. This helped them to dine on whales, sharks, and just about whatever else they wanted as the top predators of the sea. Megalodon lived about 10 million to 2 million years ago. It is believed to have roamed all over the world, as fossilized teeth have been found worldwide. Our third creature, Dunkleosteus, was a fearsome fish who prowled the water from the late Devonian period of the Paleozoic era. It has been extinct for nearly 360 million years, and we still have much to learn about it. This fish was considered a placoderm, which translate to plate-skinned, as it was outfitted with armor that protected its body. Dunkleosteus ruled the seas as an apex predator, reaching up to 30 feet in size. While this creature did not have generic teeth, it did have exposed bones on its upper and lower jaws, which acted like scissors and were self-sharpening. This is what helped it to feed on smaller Dunkleosteus, sharks, fish, and invertebrates. It may have also swallowed its smaller prey whole. Much like today's largemouth bass, Dunkleosteus was able to open its mouth quickly, creating a vacuum and sucking up whatever was in its path. Because the fish was only covered in the front of the body with armor, this is all that remains for scientists to study. Fossils of this creature have been found in North America, Europe, and North Africa. Referred to as the T-Rex of the sea, Mosasaurus was another scary inhabitant of the ancient waters. First discovered in 1764 in a Dutch limestone quarry, the bones of a Mosasaurus set the foundation for learning about one of the most incredible dominant sea-dwelling reptiles. Growing up to lengths of 50, if not 60 feet, it was a large predator. This animal was the supreme ruler of the surface. Because it had poor eyesight, scientists fathom it would likely hang out near the surface of the ocean, 
It also probably preyed on birds, sharks, squids, and other fish. Its strong tail allowed for quick bursts of speed, and for those animals which it could not immediately immobilize, it could maim them and then follow them until they were exhausted. With its poor vision, Mosasaurus did not have much use for diving deep. It existed between around 85 and 65 million years ago and probably became extinct during the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. Its fossils have been found in North America and Western Europe. Imagine, if you will, a scorpion larger than a man that lives in the ocean. That's precisely what Jacopterus was. This creature was the largest known arthropod to have ever existed. While it resembled a scorpion, it is not related to them. Jacopterus lived in lakes, rivers, and oceans, and even may have been able to walk on land. This marvelous monster preyed on fish and smaller sea scorpions and other arthropods. It reached around 8 to 9 feet long with claws as large as 18 inches. It probably lived anywhere between 400 to 300 million years ago. Most of the complete fossils have been found in North America, with partial fossils distributed globally. Much mystery remains about this super sea dweller, and researchers are eager to piece together the pieces of the Jacopterus puzzle. Liviaton was a vicious and sharp-toothed sperm whale that had an appetite for other whales. This creature reached lengths of 45 to 60 feet. Its enormous jaws were about three times as powerful as a killer whale's bite and held much larger teeth. Some of these teeth were about a foot long and four inches wide. Liviaton's skull was about three times larger than that of a killer whale's skull. Inside its head, it's thought to have shared a common organ with modern-day sperm whales called the spermaceti, filled with wax and oil that may have assisted with echolocation. It most likely preyed on baleen whales, which would have been an excellent source of fat and energy in this creature's diet. They would have attacked their prey much like a killer whale, grabbing with a powerful bite and tearing flesh. Its strong jaws able to subdue the struggling motion of its catch. This creature lived about 13 to 10 million years ago off the coast of Peru during the Miocene era. The legend of the Loch Ness Monster could never compare to the fascinating Elasmosaurus. Its body was well adapted for marine life, about 40 to 45 feet in length and featuring a long neck, flipper-like limbs, and a short tail. This creature was one of the most energy efficient as it only had to move its head and neck to conveniently reach down and surprise its prey, grabbing fish with its long, thin, protruding teeth. The teeth were intermeshed and fish could be impaled in them when their path crossed this predator. Elasmosaurus would then swallow these fish whole. Little is known about this creature as there are a lack of fossils compared to other species. We do know that this gigantic hunter is believed to have lived during the Cretaceous period, about 85 to 65 million years ago. Most of the fossils of the Elasmosaurus have been found in the USA, particularly in Kansas. Last but certainly not least is the Camaroceras, which translates to chambered horn. Perhaps the most peculiar creature and the most enormous cephalopod to ever roam the seas. This giant orthocone was a 30 to 35 foot long jet propelled cone with tentacles. Its mantle, basically the main body, would have been protected by the shell with the head and tentacles located at the beginning of the shell. The tentacles of Camaroceras alone were about 3 to 4 feet long. Just like the giant squid, it used jet propulsion for locomotion through the water, seizing its prey with its long tentacles and its sharp beak, which was capable of ripping right through the crunchy shelled critters it liked to prey on. This creature also ate fish as well as small arthropods during the late Ordovician and early Silurian period, about 470 to 440 million years ago. Its fossils have been found in North America, Europe, and China. 
Who knows what our oceans would look like today if these creatures didn't go extinct? Today, we take for granted the ability to roam the seas freely through travel and recreation, enjoying it with a general sense of safety. Would we even be able to coexist with such apex predators? Imagine if these giant creatures still existed. Would we even dare to spend a day at the beach or sail across the ocean on a cruise? What would the world look like today? With the evolution over the next eras, could these titanic creatures or at least similar apex predators ever make a comeback? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share, and comment.